Hello children, how are you feeling today? Today I'm feeling very happy because this morning I went hiking in the mountain with my dog Kali and we had a very long walk and it was sunny and the trees were very green so I'm happy. So today I'm gonna read you a special story. This story's name is The Curious Garden and it's also about trees and nature and flowers and this boy's name is Liam but before we start with the story I'm going to teach you some words so it's easier for you to understand, okay? So the first two words I'm gonna teach you are city and garden. The cities where we live in, where most of us live in. The city is a place with cars, buildings, roads, and it's really busy and tends to be a lot of pollution. And then we have a garden which is like Shania's garden, which is like a, like a little bit of nature in the house, or we can have a garden in a terrace, we can have it, if we have a house in the countryside, we can have a big garden and we can grow flowers, we can grow trees, we can grow vegetables, fruit, we can grow all sorts of things in a garden. Then there's two more words that I want to teach you, which are indoors and outdoors. Right now, I am indoors. I am in my house. But this morning, I was outdoors. I was in the mountain, not in the house. Yeah? And the last two words I want to teach you today, so many. I want to teach you railway. Okay, a railway is where the train goes on, yeah? And then gardener. The gardener is the person that takes care of the garden. Waters the flowers and the trees and chops the little dead leaves or picks up the fruit, if there's fruit in the garden, yeah? So these are the words that you need to know for today. All right, shall we start? Once upon a time, once upon a time, the curious garden. There once was a city without gardens or trees or greenery of all kind. Most people spend their time indoors. As you can imagine, it was very dreary place. This is the city. Can you see? Buildings. Oh, this is a railroad. However, there was one boy that loved being outside, loved being outdoors, like me. Even on rainy days, while well, everyone else stayed inside, you could always find Liam happily splashing through his neighborhood. This is Liam. Say hi, Liam. It was on such a morning that Liam made several discoveries. He was wandering around the old railway and he found some stairs to go up. The railway had stopped working years ago and since Liam had always wanted to explore the tracks, there was only one thing for the curious boy to do. So Liam went up, 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 up the stairs to see the railway. Liam ran up the stairs, pushed the door open and stepped out onto the railway. The first thing he saw was a lonely patch of color. Wildflowers and plants were the last thing he had expected to find up there. But when he took a closer look, it became clear that the plants 
were dying. They needed a gardener. So Liam started watering the plants, chopping the dead leaves, and even singing to them. You know, it's really good to sing to the plants. As the weeks rolled by, Liam began to feel like a real gardener and the plants began to feel like a real garden. Look at the beautiful plants that Liam is watering on the railway. Most gardens stay in one place, but this was no ordinary garden. With miles of open railway ahead of it, the garden was growing restless and wanted to explore. The tough little weeds and mosses were the first to move. They popped up further and further and further away in the tracks. And they were followed by the more delicate plants like the flowers. Over the next few months, Liam and the curious garden explored every corner of the railway. Look. So the garden went exploring along the railway everywhere. There were plants and Liam very happy to be the gardener. Look how happy he was. He was like, yes, this is my garden and my flowers. The time passed by and Liam looked and cared for the garden. And that's all for today. Next day, Shani is going to tell you the second part of the story. Okay? Now, I told you what I do outdoors. For example, I go hiking in the mountain. And indoors, I read stories to my students. So, what do you do? Children, what do you do outdoors? And what do you do indoors? Can you send me a video or some photos of the things you do outdoors and indoors? Yes? Okay. I hope you like the story of the Curious Garden. Bye-bye. And I'll see you soon.